Hi guys, for those of you who watch the channel regularly, you'll know that we try and keep things positive here. Um, we try and inspire you guys to, you know, live your best life and, and take a few risks and, you know, not be like just everyone thinks you should be. And so we don't really show the negative things or don't complain a lot basically but this video is a bit of a complaint so i hope you'll um take that in your stride yeah i feel like this complaint is legitimate and for the main reason that i have promoted this product and said how happy i am with this product before on these videos so i just want to show you and clear that up and show you my experience now with this product so yeah we'll be back to the positive uh videos again next week I'm going to show you today something I'm pretty unhappy with. Um, it's the anti-fouling on my boat. Okay, first I'm just going to show you how it looks under the boat now. And this is about a month after I scrubbed it completely clean and three and a half months after the paint was applied. Right now I'm going to go down and give it a scrub with this very soft sponge. It's got a, nothing on it, just very soft sponge. The last time I had this paint on I could scrub it with much, much coarser sponge than this, but just to be clear, this is a very soft sponge. Here all along the waterline you can see second time cleaning already through to the red paint from the last coat and that after three months being in the water of a hard anti fill. That is not a hard anti fell. It's coming off even more than an ablative anti fell. I can see the red paint on all of these patches coming through. This is not what it's supposed to be. Clouds of blue paint coming off. Tell me again, this is hard anti fell. Okay, guys, I guess you get the idea here. Four years ago, before I left Australia, I redid the anti-fouling. I put on an International Ultra 2 in red. It's a hard anti-foul, uh, scrubbable, uh, racing sort of paint. And all the way through the Solomons PNG and then three years in Indonesia, it lasted well. I would go down with a sponge and uh, clean it every couple of months and most everything came off. There was hardly any hard growth on there. It was mostly just sort of a green 
slime and it lasted well. I hauled out in Lombok in uh, November of 2020 and they didn't have a water blaster. It was all just done with a hose and scrub and it came off like basically new. I sanded it all, the whole hull. Applied in May 2021, International Ultra 2 in blue, which I'd purchased from Jakarta, Indonesia. I put two coats of that on. Uh, waited about five days or five to seven days I can't quite remember and put it back in the water uh, without thinking anything of it I didn't look under the boat uh, until two months down the track in this time we'd done about a thousand nautical miles sailing sort of every second day 50 to 70 miles so we're always on the move and yeah after about two months of that uh, sort of nearly daily sailing I decided to look under the boat and see how it was doing and we're sort of pretty shocked to find a lot of um, muscle growth a lot of small barnacles and yeah fully slime so I got a sponge and started to clean it and yeah a lot of blue coming off uh, I was covered in blue paint all over my shirt all over my hands and in places you could see the red paint coming through already I was very very disappointed and uh, yeah contacted international in Jakarta who said yeah this is just what it is but then I got contacted by the sales manager from Southeast Asia international based in Singapore and I made a little video for him and yeah after a couple of months of this and that and backwards and forwards he still sticks to the point that this is just what it is but there's been so many emails backwards and forwards that sort of say one thing and then the other oh it's a new formulation the same paint but a new formulation oh no it's the same formulation uh nothing changed but this is still how it should be uh i just don't agree with that it's supposed to be a hard anti-foul it's supposed to be scrubbable if you look on the international website it says they're black and white this paint is non self-polishing it is not ablative it is possible to scrub it it is a scrubbable paint and yeah, you cannot scrub it. It's just, it's gone. It's through to the red in many places and it doesn't even seem to work. As you can see, what I showed you today is it's three months old, three and a half months old. And I've already completely cleaned it once about a month ago. So this is growth from a month. And yeah, you can see the red coming through. You can see the clouds of blue smoke coming off. It's all over my hands again. And uh, it sort of acts like an ablative polish, self-polishing paint apart from it's not even working because there's growth everywhere so yeah really disappointed with this paint um, still emailing backwards and forwards with international trying to come to a conclusion um, they have offered a replacement tin of paint which is obviously I've declined because I don't want to put that paint on again M might be the same thing and as I've tried to explain to them it's not really the paint that's the cost uh, here in Indonesia there's only three or four haul out locations uh, from where I am now to go and haul out would be a thousand nautical miles and then the haul out is about three times the price of what it is in Australia uh, I would have to remove all of this paint because you can't paint you can't paint new paint on top of rubbish paint so all the all those costs add up to the paint itself being about maybe 20% of the costs so offering me a free tin of paint that I don't want doesn't really help me anyway the reason I'm making this video is that I in the past I have talked really good about International Ultra 2 because yeah I was really really happy with it lasted three and a half years in all sorts of different water conditions really uh, equatorial super hot water all the way down the Great Barrier Reef all the way to Lombok lots of different water conditions and it was great it was better than I expected and I've talked about this in videos and uh, I know of a few people who have put this paint on their hulls because of what I've said and uh, I always stood by that until now and I have to say that I wouldn't recommend it now I'm not saying that it's going to be bad everywhere I'm not sure if this is just an Indonesian batch or whether it's just a bad batch but the fact that the representatives from international claim that this is just normal and how it should be that's made me lose confidence in it so um yeah take take this as you wish but i'm just showing you my 
uh, experiences with this paint in a real world condition. We're living on the boat full time, we're traveling all the time and this is, this is what we're seeing with this paint. Right guys, it has been a month now since I edited the first part of this video. So everything you've seen until now was a month ago. I haven't put the video out, I'm still communicating with, with um, International. The latest thing they've requested is a, a sample of the paint. They want me to scrape off a little sample and send it to them. Uh, it should be dry paint. They said it would be better if I had to haul it out and, you know, sent them a sample. <laughs> I said there's no way I'm hauling out the boat to send them a sample. But anyway, uh, sort of hard to get a dry sample here because we've been in rolly anchorage, isn't it? I don't have a huge uh, excess over the waterline so that you know the anti fowl is always a bit wet but we're in a very calm place today so i might be able to scrape a bit off anyway i'm going to jump over the side and look at the bottom it's been a month now as i said since i last cleaned the boat um, after i filmed that bit complaining about it all i gave it a scrub so we're going to see now what's growing on this boat in 30 something days 33 days or something or other um, and yeah so the anti fowl is now about four months old one thing, the, there is one good way to sort of see the difference here. So I have a sail drive, and on a sail drive you need to use a different anti fowl, so one that has no copper or metals in it. So I used a, um, a, a one that was left in the boat shed for a couple of years at Madonna Bay Marina, and uh, the, so the whole sail drive and a 50 centimeter square around it on the hull is done with a different anti fowl, and we're about to see the difference between the international hard anti fowl and this ablative anti fowl with no copper in that I put around the sail drive. So we're going to check out that as well. All right, let's go. The water's very clear here, so we should get a good view of what's going on. Right guys, well we'll finish up the video there. I think you all should have sort of got the gist of what I'm trying to say here. Um, I don't want people to get hung up on the fact that the anti fowl is not working. The main point for me is that I wanted hard anti fowl. I applied a supposedly hard anti fowl. The hard anti fowl I used last time I was more than happy with and just the difference this time. It is not hard, it is just coming off in clouds as you can see. Added on to that, it doesn't seem to even act as an anti fowl because there shouldn't be that much growth on the boat this quick after the initial application and after cleaning every time. But that's secondary. First thing is it's a hard anti fowl that is not a hard anti fowl. Anyway, I sort of feel a bit bad putting this negative video out. Here on Sailing Learning by Doing, we, we try to inspire you guys. Um, you know, we have a great life and we want to sort of be positive and, and show that to you guys that you know life's good you know but in this case it's a rare it's it's a rare one it's actually the first one i've probably put out that's a bit negative but i i find it justified in this case and i, I hope you guys will um yeah put up with it and look forward to next week where we'll be back into the positivity and the good vibes anyway i'd really like to hear your comments on this um obviously a lot of people have problems with anti fowl and um, you know different water different conditions around the world some works better some doesn't work better i know that everyone has their favorites they've tried it and this and that and it, it is like that you know you if you sail in chesapeake or if you sail in new zealand or fiji or wherever there are anti fowls that work better than others 
and I, I have used different anti fouls and I have sailed in lots of different places this isn't about that this is just about the fact that it's it's not doing you know it's like you uh, order a hamburger and get um, tortellini you know it's just something different yeah I really look forward to your comments down below here and, and I'm going to post this on quite a few forums around the place because I really want this to get out there I think this is uh, pretty important for people to see anyway see you next week we'll be more smiley next week bye bye